Hello summoners, welcome back to the channel and in this video we're gonna talk about crossbones. Now for some reason I have him at rank 4, must have used a variant gem back in the day. But he is getting a buff now in the next patch. And between him, Howard the Duck and Nova, I'm most excited for him. I did a community post, a poll asking who are you most excited for and most people like 60, over 60% 60 people said for crossbones. So I'd say the main reason is that this guy already is not that bad like he he doesn't have great damage output as you're going to see later in this video but the utility is definitely there the fact that he doesn't crit plus the defensive ability reduction on this guy is also very strong not as good as falcon because with him you just dash back whole block and you're basically done but here we are going to showcase some examples here we showcased him against electro now nightcrawler and the one thing that i do not like is that when you die sometimes this also happens with civil warrior uh, sometimes you dash back and hold your block and it just the timer doesn't come up and uh, th that's just very annoying hated when it happens but also like against aggressive ai it's very easy to get hit by a heavy attack at the moment uh, and like I'm also going to showcase Realm of Legends where the AI is not the most aggressive so it's fine even like here we are basically doing duels probably not the most aggressive AI but I still got countered by the heavy attack there and now I'm in the corner but you can really see like the damage uh, like the defensive ability reduction is definitely impressive because um, take a look here at his rock stacks he's not gaining any which is really good I, I wouldn't say he's because see the thing is like i like characters who either don't do any defensive ability reduction or you have the 100 percent guarantee because otherwise against matchup like thing it could be really annoying like something similar also happens with assassin if you are trying to manage his because managing his rock stacks usually is not that hard and if i am hitting him to uh, so that he gets 15 then baiting is special and let's say a fury procs and he doesn't get that rock stack and now he's at 14 he throws a special that that, that would just make things more difficult uh, instead of helping so that that's something that i'm not a huge fan of but as you can see like we are over 50 hits in we just gave him like barely any rock stacks we didn't have to uh, deal with it at all during this fight and against Iron Man Infinity War by the way I, I think I remember seeing some videos from Taters a few months ago probably like six seven months ago at this point where he used crossbones in tier 1 alliance for against Iron Man Infinity War and so uh, I think we were still with the flow global and during like of course he doesn't crit so the opponent won't get any power gain and Iron Man Infinity War was a flow defender so um, here not the best gameplay pushed in sp 3 but the incinerate ended up taking him down and the incinerate itself i don't think it's very strong like uh, when we talk about characters the actual strong incinerate characters like domino with red hulk synergy and i'm sure that her heavy attack incinerate is probably stronger than this guy's special to incinerate after like he gets 12 13 furies even but uh, like at the moment his main thing really is the fury and the fact that he doesn't crit so i'm interested to see like after the buff he has some cool stuff going against hero characters he gains some contempt bonuses or something so one example would be the defensive ability reduction against normal non-hero character would be 20 percent per fury but against a hero character be 25 percent which may not look that much but the thing is like having five furies or four furies that's a pretty big deal because on average let's say you are somewhere going to be around like two to seven eight furies with this guy sometimes occasionally you're going to reach 13 15 even uh also like now after the buff you can refresh the fury i've heard uh using the heavy attack which will be cool to see hopefully it's not uh, well, to be honest I like the refresh when it's uh, with something as quick as a heavy attack and not uh, dashing back and holding block like you have to do with the civil warrior. I assume it would be similar to someone like Gamora where you can use a heavy attack, refresh all her buffs and Gamora, I'd say she has pretty good damage. The problem is not the damage but the, the fact that she has literally no utility in the game and this guy he will have both. So I think it's going to be a solid buff, probably not 
मोर मैन किंग पिन लेवल बट आई से इट वुड मेक हिम बेटर बेटर देन डैर एवल एंड इट वुड प्रोबली बी दी स्ट्रॉगेस्ट बफ नेक्स्ट मंथ विच इज अ शेम बिकॉज आई वॉज रियली लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू दी हावर द डार्क बफ एज आई हैव हिम एज अ सिक्स स्टार एंड आई रियली डो नॉट हैव एनी गुड टेक कैरेक्टर्स एंड आई ऑलमोस्ट हैव माई टेक टी फाइव सी सी आई वॉज बिफोर दिस आई वॉज लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू द सिविल वॉरियर बफ बट दैट डेंट गो as plan like that wasn't great i i wouldn't give him a tier 5 cc and now how are the duck buff on paper like i didn't think that was too bad but then i i haven't played with how are the duck at all so far so i really don't know how this would like i'm not a person who reads a pdf and really understands that much i i understand by playing the game itself and uh, we'll see when the buffs go live we're going to make video on everyone probably do let me know if you want to see a pre buff or a post buff damage comparison because that is something that i did last month for massacre and also civil warrior i think civil warrior was probably the biggest difference in terms of damage but that's the thing that doesn't really showcase uh, everything uh, because damage is definitely not everything in the game you have to see how practical it is you have to see the utility side uh, and all of that stuff Now let's talk about his awakened ability because I think it's going to be a very powerful one. I think that's something that they realized after the Angela buff, maybe that just improving the awakened ability and giving the character more utility that way is also a great. Like pros and cons. The con is that uh, right now I don't think he needed to be awakened at all. But this awakened ability, like if you have him at a high signature level, you can have up to 90% chance of shrugging of all incoming debuffs and this chance apparently goes down it doesn't say how like how it gets re- reduced the more debuffs you get but anyways you when you shrug off a debuff you also gain a fury which is nice and he also has a synergy with mangog which is kind of interesting it increases his fury buff duration so i am interested to see if that would like you know take him to the next level next year maybe in the tier list but uh, this is the basic stuff you can see the heavy attack and, uh, like the whole document the announcement is available at this moment but that's going to do it for this one thanks for watching have a nice day subscribe to the channel for more content like this video share with your alliance stay safe have a good one bye bye